best thing and the unique thing about the truck art is it's, it's, it's natural. It comes from the people who actually do it and, and, and what they feel and what they want to put across and the kind of messages. When they see things, they will actually grasp them. They understand the meaning behind them. They will do it with a meaning. The swirls, motifs and patterns. Intricate paintings of animals, flowers and people. Art inspired by movies, religion and yes, even politics. Monsters of the highway that are visual tributes to all things Pakistan. Driver Sadiq Baloch has just given final touches to his truck in Lahore. We try our best to make our truck better than the other trucker. We often find ourselves comparing our trucks to each other's. Everyone wants their truck to be the best. On his truck, Baloch proudly displays this blown up picture of Mahmood Khan Ajak Zaid, a prominent political figure from his home province of Balochistan. We decorate our trucks for the same reason people wear good clothes, buy new shoes and eat good food. They enjoy it. We enjoy decorating our trucks. The result? A chorus of colors on an otherwise monotonous highway. A tradition with roots believed to date back more than 90 years. In the 1920s, craftsmen made horse-drawn carriages for nobility. Finely carved and painted, the artists from eastern Punjab who worked on them were themselves descendants of those who decorated many great palaces and temples during the Mughal Empire. When it comes to modern-day truck art, their basic rule is, the flashier, the better. Many truck owners come up with their own designs using metal, tinsel, plastic and reflective tape to build upon the basic wood and paint. And this man, Haji Habibur Rahman, is one of the best known and respected truck artists in Pakistan. This specific type of art began in 1952 and I became a student of truck art in 1955. Haji Habib is 76 now, but he's loved art for as long as he can remember. I was a small child and was studying in grade 2. One day my cousin came to our house and asked for a pencil. I found one in my brother's school bag. It wasn't sharpened. He made me sharpen it and then asked for a table. We were poor and did not have a table, but I remember we had a small stool, but that was quite wobbly. After that, he asked for a paper. After I provided him with all the materials, he then started drawing. I remember he made a reindeer, a cat, and lastly he made a picture of a small child in a praying posture. I was so thrilled that I began drawing similar sketches at home and school. Today, Haji Habib is an ustad or teacher, sharing his techniques with the next generation. At the yard where he works, truck owners and drivers watch Haji Habib's every move. हम ट्रकों के पीछे मुख्तलिफ लैंडस्केप पेंटिंग्स देखते हैं पॉलिटिशियंस की तस्वीरें देखते हैं तो एक ट्रक आर्टिस्ट के जहन में क्या चल रहा होता है कि वो इस किस्म की चीज़ें बनाता है वो खुद अपनी तरफ से बनाता है या ट्रक जो ओनर होते हैं वो उसको कहते हैं वो ये होता है कि पहले तो जहन उसका खाली होता है Whenever a truck artist begins work on a truck, he has no idea what to do or where to begin. But when his brush makes the first stroke, then ideas begin flowing in his mind and then he doesn't stop, whether it's a scenery or a picture. It is not a painter's choice to make pictures of politicians, it is the owner's wish. Sometimes they ask to make pictures of former Prime Minister Benazir Bhutto and we then realize they have an inclination towards the Pakistan People's Party. But then some ask us to make pictures of former military ruler General Pavez Musharraf. 
बट इट इज नेवर आर कॉल वी डू वॉट वी आर आस्ट डू शख्सियतें ऐसी हैं कि इन पे किसी का कोई इजारादारी नहीं है But painting a truck isn't a one day job. It takes about 2 months and requires a whole team to prepare the truck before the artist goes to work and it can be quite expensive. Estimate lagayega wo laza paise le. It all depends on how much an owner is willing to spend on his truck. The minimum amount that we charge just to write poetry and make a few flowers is 10000 rupees. Then, if he wants to further beautify it, we charge around sixty or seventy thousand rupees. The most detailed truck art can cost as much as two million rupees, or more than nineteen thousand dollars. Sadiq Balod says the money and care that go into his truck is far beyond measure. Our trucks are our only source of livelihood, and they feed our children and will remain with us for generations. After every trip, we get a little something done to the truck, which adds to its beauty. I have spent almost 180,000 rupees on decorating my truck so far. That's 18,000 dollars. Truck art seen all over Pakistan and different regions of the country. have their own distinct techniques this is lahore's biggest truck producing market here they are fixed painted and loaded with goods before they make their journey all across pakistan salman pir zada a renowned art critic says it's much more than just an art form it comes from the grassroots it comes from the soil the people who drive trucks who paint trucks people who sit on the trucking addas uh they're not sophisticated they're not this other lot of book read artists their conversations are very different from the kind of lingo spoken by people students who go to colleges they're in a whole different stratosphere there's a, as you know there's a very big kind of a dividing line in 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 in, in our culture Truck art has become so popular it's inspired other artists like the music band called Mosika. We see outside or uh, on the roads there are a uh, lots of truck which have some uh, sketches or painting or uh, something like that which is actually uh, nice to look like whenever i uh, on my bike i on my car i used to read that uh, uh, poetry which is written behind on the trucks that make me happy because the thing that which, which is written back side on the trucks or rickshaws are humorous They were so mesmerized by the words and poetry they saw on the trucks they wrote a song about it. Their latest single Tu Lang Ja Sadi Khair is making it big in the Pakistani music industry. Tu Lang Ja Sadi Khair literally means that it's more of a you know where you compromise for one thing and let other person have the other thing. It is not just one line literally. But it has this meaning that you can go by and I can wait. so but if you go into the deeper meaning it also has that message of patience which is everywhere around us it's just the way we see it but it doesn't just end there habib is trying to branch out and go into home decor selling his designs on household items like cups bowls and lanterns is kabal nahi ho ke with time when i grew older It became more difficult for me to go up and down stairs and climb trucks. When I realized this, I thought it would be a good idea to introduce this art in household items. I began with a few items. It was widely appreciated. So I continued. I am the first one to introduce truck art in this form. Haji Habib hopes the art form will live on for generations to come, whether it's on trucks or trinkets. 
After all, he says it is a Pakistani original. No one knows the future, and I can't say what will happen to this art form. But if you look at its evolution, it has come a long way, and I hope it goes a long way. With dedicated artists like Haji Habibur Rahman and his team, this tradition is finding ways to stay relevant and omnipresent in Pakistani culture.